Hello, welcome to the Nito Remastered project. My name is Sakosa. I'm the developer of the Nito game, the Legends 1320 game. And today we'll be talking about inserting parts into the game. And this is something that I'm asking the community to do because I need that help, that extra help. Uh, I'll be showing you guys where everything is and explaining how to insert the parts into the Excel sheet. This is something very simple. You can do any time of the day. It's always open. Everyone can join and insert and there's no fuss about it. So don't worry, even if you get something wrong, this is just the, the first step, the first stage. So don't worry about it. Um, so very, very simply, this is the Excel sheet. And um, the link is in the description. If you guys want it or on um, on the TechX Discord, there's also everyone sharing information there. So let's just uh, follow you through the, the whole sheet. So first, it's this warning. This is for people that are inserting things to just don't insert it incorrectly and just uh, follow the, the sheet flow. This is the vehicles, the first, this is like a vehicle database for the alpha release. And then there's the beta, as you can see here and everything else. So for the alpha release, we have, I think it's 26 vehicles or something like that. And um, this is also something that I need your help in, but let's focus on the parts. And once you have that, um, once you know how to insert parts, maybe you can figure out how to um, confirm values and inserts engines and stuff like that. So very simply, let's start. Let's start with uh, Integra GSR. So, how do you insert like uh, a vehicle? For example, you just search for the vehicle, the model name, the the model name and the year made. You need to know what uh, year it was made. So let me see. Uh, Nito 1320. Um, Legends vehicles is probably here yeah so here is the list of all the vehicles in Nito we will have or we wish to have every vehicle with every part in the game once the game is up and running but let's say it's a 1997 Acura in Integra so we already know three things the, the year made for this specific model the Acura and Integra so brand and model so you just place it here the year the brand now let's say that the brand doesn't exist it's not here for some reason you don't have the accurate brand well you don't you don't put it on the side or anything else you just go to parts there's a, this this list is just a, a simple column database let's say so in these two it's brands in all of these it's engines and everything related to those engines, that's transmissions, turbos, etc. You get the point. So very simple. I think it's fairly organized for now. Uh, but that's, let's see the brand. There's not, the, the brand accurate doesn't exist. It does, but let's say it doesn't. You just go here to the bottom and you just insert it. Okay. And it's, it's done. Now, if you go to the vehicles and you search for the brand, that will actually be too accurate, or it should be okay. Never mind. So you see, it it, it doesn't even uh, override. It, it just overwrites the accurate value. It doesn't. There, are, there there don't exist two values. So that's actually really good for um, part duplication. Um, so yeah, you just insert the brand, and then you insert the brand in the vehicle. You search for the curb weight. So Google. Integra GSR 1997 curb weight, the first value that appears, you can insert it. Later on, if it's not correct, you can correct it. There's no problem. Uh, engine, so the engine, let's say that there's no engine. You need to do, you need to make the engine. So you go to the parts and here are the engine lists. For example, the B18C1, you just follow for, for you just search for the 1997 Integra engine. And you see what type of engines there were and follow up on the history of the car and you try to make the best guess you can maybe even insert some engines that weren't in the game but that that might be let's say swapped in the game there's no problem with adding extra parts that's actually good 
but um, please be accurate with the in-game vehicles that there were in, in, in Nito, please. Don't put like a, some, like, let's say a K20 engine on a 1997 vehicle because it's not stock. Uh, we need stock parts and the most accurate, the better. So engines, be, uh, it's, I think it's the B18, no, it's a B18 B1, 1997. Um, if you go to the Wikipedia, you see all the engines, but it's, you just place it here, let's say Sagosa. Year made 1997, so it's a B18C. Is it a C1? It's a B1. Okay. What brand is it? You search for it. It's I think it's Honda. Yeah. Then this is where people maybe get a little bit confused. There's the peak horsepower and the peak um, torque. Um, you just insert them. Okay. The peak uh, horsepower and the peak RPM. How it's gonna be? Um, you know, calculated calculated in game. Don't worry, because I'm not even sure how it's going to be calculated. I have a formula, I have uh, everything working, but I don't know if I'm going to use both. One, I don't know which one is will be better for, um, you know, to be a more direct performance um, example. But just insert the most information you can find, and I'll just, uh, you know, process it further down the line. So, you go to the B18 B1, let's see, B18 B1 engine. You follow up on their specs. For example, this is a nice page. It usually is very organized. So uh, B18, I don't know wh which year it, this is. It's 1990 to 2001. As you can see, there are plenty of engines. So let's see, 90, 91, 92, 93, 97. It's supposed to be this one. 142, six and a half, 6.3. Let's see if it's the same value as 142, so it's very close. The peak horsepower, it's actually correct. So you, as you see, there's a, a few horsepowers lost on the engine that I have here. But just, you know, just insert the information that doesn't exist and we'll process it further down the line, don't worry. Uh, so 138, you put the peak horsepower, RPMs, which is this one. And then you f follow with the uh, torque, so 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 97, did I count right? I don't even, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, shit, 180, okay, now this is confusing. So in, ca in this case, since I'm not sure, maybe I'm not going to insert this one and I'm just going to put 90, and follow check to see which one B18B was I here? yes I was what? so let's see in Wikipedia B18B1 B18B1 found in 1996 GDM Horthia is it the B1? B1 DOHC, yes. So, B1, 140. Mm -hmm. Ah, Honda, Honda Integra, here it is. So, cool, B18, B1, I wasn't very, you know, I wasn't lost. <laughs> so, 140, 138, I can fix that. 6,300 um, at 520, oh no, here it is, okay, so you see, peak power, peak torque, so don't get it confused, and don't get the units confused, it's on this sheet, since everyone that will be placing this is mostly American, it's in uh, horsepower and um, torque, um, pound foot of torque, okay, pound feet, no, no, but yeah, so please insert this value, don't insert this one, this one is Newton, Newton meters, so that's for European measurements, the game will be converted to European measurements for me to calculate, it's very easy, but you guys just insert it in pound feet, so there's no confusion in units, so 140, 127, 140, 127, 6, 3, yeah, 5, 2, so that's correct and the rpm limit it's 68 68 okay so this engine 
it's complete so it would be let's delete this so it's complete and if you go to the vehicles you just can assign the engine and that's done once everything is complete i will just export this sheet find a way to convert it to the to the database and insert all the values and everything will be done automatically so don't worry about that but yeah so that's an engine it's not hard it just requires a bit of research so to the shop parts let's i uh, found uh, an example here i think it's um, a good example which is the um, x motor sports I, I just found this part because i know it's not in there i searched for it even if it is there's no problem we can just delete it if there's duplication but please be thorough so there's this page also on the TechX uh, Discord um, where you can find most of the some parts um, in game and if we insert these we, we can just go for, from exclusion and find other parts to insert but let's say this one it's a good example you guys just start from the top see if it exists and how do you see simple um, shop items list let's say Ichiban drag launching kit I think this one exists so very simply drag doesn't exist so drag launch kit this is probably a specific part so drag launch kit so it exists okay so maybe you can filter out we will clear everything drag launch kit okay click OK you're supposed to filter it you tick maybe it's not a specific so brand Ichiban yeah so this is weird why isn't it like uh, am I doing something wrong there you go. Why though? Oh, you see, it's already inserted. The filters are, aren't working, don't know why, but it's here, you see, so we probably shouldn't add it again. It's Ichiban, so the brand, the brand is correct. The name is also correct, so just the type springs and shocks oh it makes sense yeah it's a drag launch kit so probably it's in springs and shocks yeah okay so um, it exists we can't add it again or we shouldn't because otherwise there will be duplication even worse if we add it and it's in the wrong type there will be double duplication so <laughs> it exists on different categories so you can have both of them in the same car and not notice it maybe you'll notice it but you know what i'm talking about so um, Let's not insert this one. Let's insert the one that I was talking because I know it doesn't exist. Um, once you guys start inserting, the, the filters will probably work. I'll just need to fix it. Don't worry. Um, so let's see. Mm -hmm. X Motorsports Extreme Cylinder Head. You just place the name in an empty uh, row. If the row doesn't exist, let's say right here. People are inserting values really fast. If it doesn't exist, you just grab the last one and you just drop it down until infinity. Okay, cool. So that's done. Added a few more. Up, 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 up. Okay. So, X Motorsports, now we just insert our name, the, the person that's contributing. This is important, otherwise you don't get rewards when the game uh, releases. Even on beta, you get some rewards, you get some vehicles. Those vehicles will not be wiped, or I hope will not be wiped. If for some reason I need to wipe them, I'll give you the same reward further down the line, don't worry. So, the name, the type, it's a cylinder head. Okay, cool. The brand X Motorsports. It's now we need to check the sheath. So it's green. If it's green, it's Vista. Okay, 
this the heights okay cool now one thing we need to delete the brand name x motorsports not the type the type you can just place it there i think i'm actually not sure but don't worry if there for some reason the type needs to be deleted what do i mean by the type cylinder head because um my system usually just uses the type and it just gathers everything to to have uh, fewer characters in the database once it gets fetched and parsed uh, occupies the, the least space it occupies the faster the information gets to the server and the faster it is processed that's why I'm, I'm talking about this you know uh, having the cylinder head name in the name because if you just have this the system just adds the type on to the name and you guys don't need to do that extra work and the database gets really short and really fast it's a bit of optimizing that goes a long way um, so since I'm not sure just don't worry just um, just insert it how it is if for some reason I need to modify I just can write a script that uh, checks for these specific words and deletes it from the string and just gets inserted so don't worry so, so uh, extreme cylinder head it's a cylinder head it's the X motorsports just the heights everything's done now is it engine specific what does this mean uh, this is actually incorrect this is vehicle because uh, previously it was engine specific and not uh, it was vehicle specific not engine specific uh, what does what does this uh, mean and how does it work it works as a uh, for um, controlling which parts go to which vehicle but it doesn't it's not vehicle specific it's engine specific but for now let's say it's vehicle specific I will change it to engine and you guys can just um, place for the specific engine part so is it extreme cylinder head is it an engine specific it's not it's a common part you can just add it to any vehicle there will be some specific specificities to this part but we'll not go to that just simple input common cash price you guys don't know points you guys don't know anything else you guys don't know and don't worry people are adding which is nice as a reference but for some reason I'll need to change it if it's not the the correct value for the market will change it so don't be very nitpicky about it just add everything you find add it um, I'll process it don't worry so what do these categories mean cash price it's the cash it will cost points this is points price street credit price this is a feature that um, it's prototyped it's just the value it's not it wasn't in the in the game previously but it's something that we might add if not it's just a value that doesn't matter or in case it's just a row that's empty don't worry we'll we'll find a use to it weight it's the weight of the part again you guys don't know the horsepower gain the torque gained the arrow you guys don't know what's gained uh, the, this is just an accumulator it's for sizes and stuff like that uh, usually the accumulator is used for rims so if you if you insert a 17 inch rim just place a 17 here that will make my my life easier if not just put a zero don't worry it's fine and in this last row comments it's the comments row so you guys just can you can just write for example if if it's for a specific vehicle here you type the specific vehicle it's for a specific engine you type it here this is just not fixed currently so yeah let's say so this is not for a specific vehicle so it's fine if it was you just place it here like Ford Mustang cool it's done if it's for an engine you just search for search for the engine there should be like a, a drop down like this one and you just select let's say that part was for an LS LS7 so you just put the LS7 and everything's cool and go to the next part once you get the rhythm flowing this gets really easy and you can just insert a bunch of parts and it actually becomes kind of fun knowing that's something that you're working for it's going to be inserted into the game and now a little preview because I haven't explained this to anyone what is the ETC this is a sheet that I've been working on and this is the torque curve for the um, every vehicle that will be on the beta in this case for every engine not the vehicle you can have very ve uh, many vehicles with different engines or with the same engines and they will perform uh, I wouldn't say the same because then there will be a arrow it will there will be a weight there will be a lot of things a lot of factors that will modify the engine behavior 
So this is the engine torque curve. And how does it work? Very simply, you just search for the um, torque curve, curve of the specific vehicle, like a dyno curve, uh, preferably in Newton meters. In this case, I will require a metric uh, values. So don't insert, do not insert it in foot pounds, um, pound foot, whatever, in American <laughs> imperial units insert it in newton meters and where do you insert it you just let's say p18c1 okay let's just search for this dynograph you just search for the dynograph you search for a stock one not one that's you know modified let's say that uh, someone placed the double turbo and some whack modification to the engine you don't want that one you want a normal one P this is a P20, P J D M G S R. You need to search for this this engine in specific, I think. Mm. Okay. Foot pound. No. I mean you can insert, let's say that it's uh, you can insert this graph, there's no problem. You just have to convert it before you insert the info. It's fairly easy, you just search for LBFT to Newton meter conversion. And you just insert, let's say, this is not even linear, so um, this is over these RPMs. So yeah, this uh, this graph is actually not, not a good example. You need to search for one that starts at low RPMs. If not, just make the values, there's no problem. Just as long as it's not higher, it's a bit lower, you know, it goes with the slope, it's fine. Let's see. Okay, this is the... This is a horrible example, but we'll use it as an example. Let's say this is the B18, um, mm, the B18 B1, okay? B18 B1, and let's search for the actual, for the actual, actual values, let's see. Okay, torque and horsepower. Okay, cool, couldn't read this one, okay. So, at a thousand RPMs, RPMs, there's probably you know zero, and <laughs> the engine stopped. So you just place a zero, and I didn't even check. Is this? Uh, Jesus, these graphs. Is it pounds or is it newton? Oh shit! These dynographs suck ass. Horsepower, peak torque. It's probably foot pound. Otherwise, it wouldn't be horsepower, it'd be kilowatt. So, it's an American, Imperial, I mean, so we'll have to convert the values, there's no problem. So, at a 2000 RPMs, there's 50 something, let's say 60 foot pound, just 60, so it's 81. And on any 2000 RPMs, so 500,000, it's this one, 81 Newton meters, you see. These these blank values, how do you, let's check, how do you know what is the correct? So, as I said, you need to know the slope, it can't be higher than, I mean, at lower RPMs, it can't be higher than other values, the following values, unless it is on the graph, but since it's low RPMs, it shouldn't, otherwise, on idle, if you place the first gear and there's minimum throttle, throttle, the, the car just launches really fast and you can't uh, stage the car. So it's hard to drive the car and that's not good. So go with the slope. And how do you go with the slope? It's fairly easy. You keep doing the graph and then you come back to these values. So a two and a half, two and a half. Uh, it's over here. So probably 80 something. Let's say 82. It's a good value. 80, 85, 115, 115. 3000 RPMs, 3000, it's almost the same. So it's 88, 119, 119. And you check, you see, the, um, the torque, the thing that we are inserting, in, in this case in Newton meters, it's the um, blue one and the horsepower, it's the orange one. Wait, it's in reverse. Okay, it's in reverse, sorry. The orange one is the one that we are inserting, the other one is the conversion of the, of the previous. 
you in the once you we insert the the graph you start to see a shape and if the shape is similar to the one that you're watching on this graph it means that you've inserted the correct values maybe they won't be precisely the same or have the same nuances but if it's fairly the same it will give fairly the same uh, performance doesn't matter don't be very nitpicky because once it's inserted there will be other things such as durability such as spark variance i will insert all of that and all of that will play a part on the graph and the consistency of the vehicle okay the higher the horsepower of the vehicle i will insert more consistency so that you guys have a more consistent car for uh, head to head uh, battles and or not it depends on the engine you guys will have to select the correct parts to have that specific um, graph there will be engine inconsistencies if the car is not correctly tuned or the parts are not you know the correct ones so 3000 on three and a half it's 100 foot pounds so really big leap 135 newton 135 4000 fourth was it 4000 4000 yeah 4000 it's one so it's 125 120 i would say 120 162 162 add a four and a half four and a half you see you just start inserting it it's 125 169 this is the let's say the boring part but it's nice because you know some of your work will be in the game 147 i would say 199 newton meters 55 this and follow the blue one because the blue one is the torque not the horsepower don't get the, those mistaken 150 170 i would say 230 newton meters okay Six thousand rpms oh one thing you need to check the red line there's no reason to keep placing values if the red line is the uh, like for example, we are watching the B18B1, so the red line is at uh, 6800, so from the 7000 up, there's no need to insert values, he won't go there. Mm, I will insert them manually so that the uh, server doesn't crash, because he needs some values to interpolate, so I will just put them to zero as a, a way to not give power to a car that's off range, because that's not fair, it's off range, you're damaging the, the engine, there's no reason to give it extra power, you just damage the vehicle and it's, it stops, I wouldn't say it stops, but it goes to the minimum um, torque the vehicle has once damaged. So yeah, I'll just, you know, put the curve down and it's it's done. 6000 RPM, 6000, 180 I would say, 180, 244, 244. 65 so it's over here it's uh, for example you may we might ask why is, does the torque on this uh, dyno pull goes to 80 something thousand M many reasons maybe they took the, the limiter you can insert the values and have the limiter part you know that you have to take it out on the game so if the graph has the, these values, maybe insert them, if you so please, if not, we will insert it further down the line, there's no problem. Any help that you guys give, it's a good help. 198, 268, okay, 7000, 7000, it's 205, I would say, 277, 7500, so we are over the red line, we shouldn't be adding values, but I will be adding because the values exist. It's better to add more value than to withdraw values. So 210, 210, 212, 287, shit, 287, okay. 8000, it's lower to 281, 282, okay. 8500, 8500. So in here, you start to see the, the really low slope so 170 160 something yeah 160 right yeah 227 227 so it starts to go down 9000 and as you see 9000 i would say it would stop here at 150 
150 foot pounds. 145 because it's going lower. 196. Whew. Big chungus. 100. 100. 135. Okay. Now this is more looks more right. So imaginary values. Now we start to go to the um, no 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 such thing as <laughs> these values don't exist. So. Um, We'll just make them up, just so the server doesn't crash, or just so that once you go over the red line, you don't get get um, a boost, nor a, a penalty. The penalty will be durability. So you just insert, let's say, 135. You put 100, and in here, 100. No, a little bit more. Yeah, more soft curve. In in these, in this one, 25. So yeah, see. It just slopes out and it gives no more power so there's no reason to go there and uh, in here 1500 so 80 80 let's say if you start improvising you see for follow the curve 50 30 and maybe 10 nice curve okay so this is the curve of the b18 b1 engine on newton meters and everything else will be converted to horsepower in foot pounds of torque. If you are following one one graph, look at the graph below. If otherwise, you look at the one up. In this case, this graph is in a probably foot pounds. So once converted, it should have this format, and it kind of has. If you just cut from from here to here it mostly has the same shape so it has the only reason it doesn't is because it's a little bit skewed if I place it like here it's a bit similar so that's an incur that's a correct uh, insertion of value so that engine is done and once this is done I will just take all the information process it place the contributor uh, process it and it will be inside the database as a static value that will be used on this engine specifically and every part that you add on that gives more horsepower will change the shape of the torque curve or in this case in the of the horsepower curve and it will give more performance to the car uh, the turbos will give more power on the well it depends on the turbo and it depends on a lot of factors but it will give a more exponential increase of power you guys see that's why there's lag the car needs to increase the rpm so that it starts inputting more hair into the engine and only later on it will give more power that's another curve that will be placing a graph for turbo curves but that's further down the line there it will requires more analysis of other graphs but yeah once this is done i will put um, a little tab for you guys to place the the dyno curve that you've been uh, ref referencing so that we later on can see who who has done it and what values did they insert if there was some kind of a uh, you know f some incorrect value for some reason someone inserted instead of 168 100 and there's a really big dip so that we don't just imagine values we just can search for that specific image and see how did they get to those values but yeah, this is fairly simple. Sorry for the long video. This is probably on 20 something minutes. 33, okay, that's nice. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Any questions, just join the Discord and ask them, but please uh, follow through with the video. And if it's not as, um, let's say simple, if this video is not simple enough for you guys, just tell me to section each part of the video and I will do that will do that uh, so that it's easier for you guys to insert things because this is a big contribution that you guys do if you guys all insert all the parts okay this will be done f really far quickly because we saw with the assembler with the um, vehicle assembler I was expecting 28 vehicles to be done in like a, let's say a month uh, you know slow everyone figuring out the tools and placing everything it was done in like four hours it was everything was done so really good of you guys to do that it's it's a really big help it's a, a weight of my shoulders and for me to focus on the game it's really really good okay so thanks guys and um hope you guys enjoy 
and see you later. Bye.